Hey everybody, today is April 27th, 2017, and here is update number 6. There's really not much going on today, but uh, a few people have asked how my plants were doing, so I thought I would just give an update. Anyway, I've added a few plants, and uh, it's been raining like crazy around here lately, so I have to come out here and dump these buckets uh, every so often because when plants are these size they don't drink too much so you don't want to have the soil wet all the time so um, it's nice to keep it moist but don't allow it to get saturated and just like you know when you lift the bucket you see water dripping um, it should be like this nice and fine and moist like that and it's soft and fluffy that's the, the amount of wetness that you would want for this and when you see that the plant looks like this, you see how compact and how pressed down that is? That's too wet, like those as well. So uh, when you see that, trying to create some air pockets uh, underneath, that way the roots can move around easily. So if you push your finger like this, and it's, it's difficult for you to... Uh, you know like get inside the soil your soil is too compressed and compact this is what you want see how easy it is it's that's that's how peppers prefer their soil anyway so here they are let me go around and show you what's going on I added a few plants and then uh, I have a reaper that I will be entering in the contest so I will show you that shortly so anyway uh, Let's start over here. This is my ghost. I'm not, not doing too well. I had some mites problems. So all of these has been gone through with some crazy stuff. And every season, the same exact thing happens. Early on the season, my plants are struggling. And then later on, they will make a comeback and uh, do well. So I'm not too worried. My ghost. Here's my reaper here. And then that's another ghost. This is one of my own cross I'm very excited about this guy the chocolate scotch bonnet crossed with the reaper the fruit is is very nice looking here is my f2 brazilian ghost times uh the moa actually times brazilian ghost and this is a red fino and i have a yellow one also but uh if you check out my videos in the what's that pepper series you will see uh, a review on this and then i have a very nice one here Staracha F2, you see here the tip is gone, mites damaged so I plucked it all off and it's actually making a comeback right now. So, growing some side shoots there, same with this, mites damage, plucked it off, uh, remove all the leaves and now the sides are moving. So it's basically like giving the plants a topping. But uh, some of these plants were uh, top and some were not and people always ask uh, should they top their peppers and my answer is always it's really up to the grower uh, I usually top because I start my plants very early in, indoors and I have to delay the progress before I take it outside and I prefer that method because uh, when I cut them inside they have a, a long uh, amount of time left before I take them outside so they'll start to grow size second generation leaves so when I come out when they come out here, I just put them in the sun, uh, April sun, so they're not too extreme and they do fine. So I don't, I don't ever uh, put them outside to get them acclimated and all that stuff. So uh, it kind of helped me skip that step. So uh, uh, these are all I have. That this guy here was in top, as you can see, it's grown very nice because nothing happened to it. No mites happened to these guys. Uh, this one as well. Look at this. Something's been chewing on some of the leaves here. And then my this is the MOA Scotch Bonnet from Jamaica. So it's a real uh, true Scotch Bonnet with a good source. And then that one was top because I had some issues. And same with this. So I pinched off the top. And then some more here. And then these two. I'm very excited about this is the MOA Tom's uh, the Thai bird's eye it's a very nice tasting pepper and I've had it last year and I really really like it 
I was so sad that Mites did this to this guy, but it's it's coming back, so I'm very happy about that. And then that guy there is basically the reverse cross. So this is a MOA cross with a tie, and that one is a tie cross with the MOA. The fruits are slightly different, it tastes a bit different, and it grows a little bit different as well. But the, the fruits are red, so later on the season, I will show you guys if you follow this uh, series. And this is a recently added. I will go into details of these later once fruits come out. But anyway, let's go and look at the overwinter plants. They're doing really good. Here's my Moringa tree. This guy is gigantic. Look at that. And it's just growing inside a five gallon bucket. I need to move this out of here. Okay, one of the overwinter plants. I lost the tag. But uh, this guy is growing really funny. Just straight up. No sides or anything like that. And flowers are starting to build. I think I've seen a few somewhere. And here it is, another one that I lost the tag for. Got some buds there. And some buds are down here. And this pepper here is a unknown variety. Uh, my brother grew it for a few years and he says that it produced like crazy and it looks very pretty. So <laughs> I'm, I'm growing a few of these to, to see what he's talking about. So if it produces well, I may save seeds and give out to some more people because I, I just love spreading out rare varieties. And these two here are from last season as well. And Peking, this guy is just ridiculous. It, it, I mean, you don't have to take care of this. It grows on its own and it, it, all you have to do is give it some water, fertilize it a little bit, and then that's it. Produce all the time, all season long. See, I already have fruits and it's all only uh, almost May. So <laughs> I'll be getting a ton of fruits very soon because there are fruits everywhere already on these guys. And uh, they just, they're like weed. I mean, they drop some fruits and then peppers just grow everywhere. Like that's one there I picked up. And then there's a few there. So that's usually what you get when you grow Peking. And then this here, I think this is a caramel ghost, but the fruits are very pretty. It will turn chocolate later or caramel, whatever people prefer, but not much heat. Uh, for a ghost, it doesn't taste like a ghost or doesn't have that much heat. And the fruits are pretty. It's very prolific. It grows downward and you get tons and tons of them. This year, this guy here produced like crazy last year. All right, next up here is my white Thai pepper. Look at this, already producing. So, uh, if you see leaves like this, just pluck it off. All right guys, that's my update for this time. Not much going on. So, uh, when the weather warms up in a month or so, you're gonna see a lot more happening, so stay tuned. Okay, before we go, look at these here. These are predatory mites. Look how fast they are. They're all over my plants, but they're not doing any damage at all. So I just leave them alone. There are a bunch of them in my compost pile, and, and look at it. They're on my leaves there. So they're just around hunting for something. So if you see those guys, uh, just leave them alone. They're very, very fast. So they, they look like spider mites, but they're not, because the spider mites are a little darker color. These guys are red. And, and you can tell because they're really fast. See, they're gone already. But there you go. Look at that. Extremely fast. Alright guys, just uh, showing you those mites. And uh, if you have those on your plants, uh, please comment below and and see and let me know what you guys do with those.